Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to JSOS Bible Study this week. Last week, we were talking about who is a disciple, and this week, we are talking about the cost of being a disciple. So, in Luke chapter 14 is where we're going to be this week. Uh, Luke chapter 14, verse 25 through 33. And at this point in Jesus' life and ministry, basically, everyone is wanting to follow him. I mean, who wouldn't want to follow Jesus, right? Everybody agrees that Jesus is a good guy. He's doing miracles. He's healing the sick. He's, you know, making the blind to see and the lame are walking. And he's talking about all this radical love. And he's kind of calling out the authorities, right? And so everybody wants to be around Jesus. They want to follow Jesus. They want to be like Jesus. But in verses uh, 26 and 27, this is what Jesus says to this crowd of people, right, that's following him. He says, If anyone comes after me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. So, that's pretty harsh, right? Like, Jesus wants us to follow him, of course. But to be his disciple, uh, he doesn't want you to be naive. Um, he doesn't want you to be blind to the cost of following him. So, Jesus is speaking in, in hyperbole here. He's not teaching us to hate anyone. Uh, he's not teaching us to hate ourselves. He's using basically like an exaggerated statement, right? And he's saying, I want you to give up everything in order to follow me. So he makes that point even clearer in verse 33. And this is what he says. In the same way, those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciples. So those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciples. So Jesus is kind of I don't know, raising the stakes here, right? He wants us to count the cost before we commit to following him, right? So if somebody's going to go out and, and build a new building, right, they don't just show up one day and start doing it. No, they go through a design process, they budget it out, they make sure that they have enough money to complete the project. Otherwise, somebody would come along and be like, well, look at this project, right? Some guy started it, he didn't count the cost, and now he can't finish it. That's kind of dumb, right? So Jesus wants us to count the cost. He wants us to count the cost of following him. So Jesus demands 100%. It's a difficult life to follow Jesus. It's a difficult life. Being a disciple means that we will have to give up things in our life to become more like Jesus. And because Jesus is the number one priority in our life. So, if you give your life to Jesus, and then you decide to become a disciple, right? And then you go home, right? Or you're hanging out with your girlfriend or whatever, and you're telling her how you chose to become a disciple of Jesus. And she doesn't like that, and she says, I want you to give that up. That's just a bunch of hogwash right? Well, that's going to require you to give up that relationship, right? So, being a disciple requires that following Jesus is the number one priority in your life. So, another example, if you like smoking weed, right? You like smoking weed because it helps you be chill, it helps you to deal with the pain that you got in your leg or whatever. If you're a follower of Jesus, if you're a disciple of Jesus, you have to give that up. You got to quit smoking weed. In verse 27, Jesus says, "Whoever does not give up their own or whoever does not carry their own cross and follow me cannot be my disciple." So, the cross, the cross is a symbol of pain, it's a symbol of suffering, and ultimately it's a symbol of death. So, Jesus is calling us to put to death our own plans, our own desires, and turn our lives over to Him 100%. So, we're to do His will every single day. B. 
being a disciple is this gnarly thing and it costs it costs so much of our life so our next bible study series is going to be about these gnarly stories in scripture where you're going to actually get to see some of these people who gave up everything to follow jesus and to to have their faith in god to trust in him right so we're going to go through this whole series it's going to be called the gnarly stories in scripture it's going to be these stories of people of faith and how they lived their life for God and gave up everything in order to follow him so I want to challenge you to count the cost you know when you're looking at something like becoming a disciple I want you to count the cost of being a disciple are you willing to give up everything to follow Jesus and I want to encourage you remember uh, September 10th this this coming weekend Saturday 6 to 7 p.m. We're going to be hosting the Bible Jam. The Bible Jam here at Help Board Shop. Uh, we're going to have some worship. Josiah is going to be leading us. Um, so we'll be doing some songs. I will be teaching live. Uh, we're also going to have a little contest, a little fun with some friends. And we're going to kind of kick off this next Bible study series looking at the gnarly stories of uh, people throughout Scripture and how they lived out their faith. So this week, again, I just want to challenge you being a disciple, it's not easy, right? It costs. And I want you to count the cost before you start. I'll see you next week.